Hi there, my name is Logan. Thank you for clicking this video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the four reasons that actually stopping us to progress in our English. So most of my subscribers, they are complaining or they have a problem. They are unable to progress their English. I think there must be four reasons because of that we are unable to progress our English. There must be more like many reasons to do not improve or to I mean, do not progress in our English. But there are certain four reasons that I figured out by myself and I would be very uh, delighted to share with all of you. So we can begin from the first reason. The first reason is uh, do not be perfect. Don't try to be perfect in English. The most of the learners, they are trying to be perfect in English. Uh, perfection is not better. Just try to be better. Try to learn. Learning is better. To improve a little bit every day is better. Do not to do that in a perfectly. It's totally all right. We have to improve English and properly. We have to be communicate easily. That's very important in the firstly. We don't need to be perfect on a certain thing, something like that. That's very important thing as I think I never tried to be perfect uh, in my life completely. I tried my best to be better a little bit. So that's so nice. In the beginning, we have to be better than perfect. That's good, I hope. The second reason that I figured out, don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's very better for you. So, so second thing I want to share with you that do not afraid to make mistake. Making mistake is one of the best nature. If we make mistake, we learn from mistake. If you can't make mistake, you are not going to learn anything. So as I believe, learning from mistake is one of the best thing and we may progress from there. I do not afraid when I'm making mistake in any languages. If I'm speaking Spanish, I'm preparing, I mean, I'm learning Spanish. I do my best to make more mistake to learn how it work correctly. So in your life, if you do not make mistake, you are not going to achieve anything. Make mistake, learn from them and try. Of course, if you just make mistake, it won't will it won't be helpful for you. So try to uh, make mistake, but learn. You have to just improve from your mistakes. It's not like that that you can just keep making mistake, mistake, and you are not you're nothing like improving. That should be very hard, I mean, harmful. That won't be better for your health. I mean, not better for your English or anything you are learning in your life. So that's the second reason. And the third reason I'm going to share with you, it's a very good reason, a very important reason for all of you. You have to add a perfect or better plan for your study. Planning is very important in your life. You must have a better plan for learning, like schedule your days every day. You have to set like two hours in a Sunday or three like hours on a Friday. You must have a very good schedule to implement, to learn, to spending your time to learn on a specific thing. Suppose today you are going to practice your listening. Must You must have to spend your one hour on listening on Sunday, one hour on Tuesday, something like that. If you already planned, you set a goal to spend only four hours only on listening every week you must have to do you have to be consistent you have to be regular if you can't be regular it wouldn't be helpful for you to achieving something so in my case i always believe to make a good plan and uh, to spend your time 10 hours five hours three hours a day it's very better if it is possible if it is really helpful for you helpful is 100 percent would be helpful but it's, it's depend on the people, they don't have a time. So in that case, you have to spend one hour a day or two hours a day. It should be like eight hours a week, uh, 10 hours a week should be very better. As I think personally, you must have to uh, make a perfect plan. In that way, you have to use a perfect because you should have a perfect plan to achieve something as I think personally. So moving to the fourth reason, the last reason is uh, is very important, better listening. Listening is very, very useful for you. If you can't listen better, you will never gonna understand speaking. So listening is most important. You are going to speak with someone, that's very easy. Okay, you are practicing your speaking, suppose. 
so in that way you are unable to listen you don't have a good you don't have a better listening if you don't have a better listening you are not able to speak of course because we are two people suppose you are talking with me about a certain topic so we are talking about a culture community behavior or any any topic so in that time i am talking with you in english you are unable to understand my questions how you will be able to give me answer so in that way you have to care you have to listen better so listening is a main point for a speaking in the same way there are two combination if you will be a better like a reader your writing would be easy for you in the same way if you have a good listening if you're a good listener you are going to be a better speaker as i already um, like mentioned in many videos so i recommend you to again and again to listen podcast or i suggest for you are two applications that should be uh, below description i added for you are two links of my videos in that both link you will have applications both application would be really helpful for you uh, you can join that application in second uh, edm application that i will share with you there you have a watch video you can watch with subtitles try to listen with subtitle the second application you have a transcript listen podcast with transcript beside i will be happily add you for some of like websites where you can find very good podcast like six minute or two minute or 10 minute podcast with transcript so it's very important when you're listening with transcript with subtitle you will be able to accurately understand so that's what we actually need uh, to understand accurately when we are not sure but it's okay many people they make mistakes they have a bad pronunciation to pronouncing words that's okay because they have a different native language when you have a different native language suppose you have uh, portuguese you have spanish your pronunciation should be completely different in english also because your accent is different you have a spanish different accent so when you are speaking spanish accent in english you have a very bad pronunciations because most of the english word and the spanish word are similar they call like that so in that way they are pronouncing like like restaurante the restaurante is a spanish word and most of people are pronouncing restaurant restaurant like it's english and spanish most of the word are similar in the same way many words the many pronunciations are matching but they're pronouncing wrong so in that way i just prefer that you can listen carefully listen a specific word and that is really helpful for you actually i hope these four main mistake would be really useful for you because mistakes uh, are uh, reasons are very important to understand why the why is very important in our life you have to find the why so if you find if you figure out the why you will be able to understand many things in your life your english cannot be better anything you're learning everything will be better is i think for today i just shared with you these four things i probably think it should be very useful for you so keep on and keep going on to learn these four reasons to implement i hope would be very very beneficial for you feel free to ask me please do not hesitate to ask me any question below comment if you type for me any comment i would be very happy to help you through video i can upload for you video on a specific topic that you have thank you it's very sweating because of i don't have air condition right now it's just uh, turn off my light so i'm sorry for that thank you for your time and have a wonderful day Goodbye, take care.